How will Jupiter and Capricorn speak to you and your sign? Find out at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous Cancer. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of December 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. In the middle of the month, right around the 12th, we are going to have a full moon. This full moon is happening in the sign just before yours. This is considered a very quiet part of the sky. It has to do with what is happening on levels of soul and psyche and spirit. It has to do with your dream space as well and rest and what it is that you do for rest. And this is also a part of the sky connected to cleansing and closure. So we have this full moon here, and of course the moon is your ruling luminary. Whenever we have an important lunar event, it ends up meaning that much more to you, simply because it is your ruler. And this full moon will be speaking in a conversation of tension with Neptune. Now, this is especially interesting because it is this particular alignment that can suggest an access of the very energy uh, that is being amplified considering where the full moon is taking place for you. It is rest that is going to be needed now. There's a lot that you are working out on deep energetic levels. And this can be a very healing time, but there can also be an inner restlessness that you can't quite put your finger on. There's also a sense now that maybe there's something that you don't know, but you wish you did, and an intuition that maybe there's someone or some situation that isn't as transparent as you would like it to be. Now, regardless, just know that it is in these times, in these spaces, that our own fears can come to the surface as well. And so really, so much can be worked out in the dream space. I remember years ago, I got some really great advice and that was to create a connection between the dream space and the real space. And I'm using those terms kind of loosely, of course. But if it is that you have a dream and you see yourself eating an apple, then when you get up, as soon as you can, try to eat an apple because it is these very ways in which you create pathways of communications and relevance between you and your own unconscious and the well of wisdom that is there. And so it is best, especially around the middle of the month, to cultivate this very connection with self and with your unconscious. I would also add that if it feels at this time, because it is possible that closures can happen here, and if it feels like that's happening, regardless of it's a person, place, thing, situation, opportunity, just let it. It really is okay. If it comes, let it. If it goes, let it. That's always really good advice, but especially around this full moon and especially for you. So get enough rest and all will be well. You will navigate this time. It's just a couple of days in the middle of the month and all will be well. So let me talk about what I think everybody really wants me to talk about for their sign, which is Jupiter. Right around the second of the month, Jupiter is going to move into your opposite sign. And it is late in the month, right around Christmas day is when we are going to have a solar eclipse. Now this solar eclipse is happening hand in hand with Jupiter. The ancients believed that when the sun met Jupiter in the sky, this denoted the luckiest day of the year. But now we're going to have an eclipse, a solar eclipse conjunct Jupiter, and that just amplifies the energy of the luck that much more, but also gives it an erratic and electric quality as well. And so for you, you've got this very powerful energy playing out in your opposite sign. Thanks to Jupiter moving in here earlier in the month, this is remarkable where it comes to connecting with new people. Now, what you don't want to do with this energy is, you know, set an intention and make a plan and plan a surprise or anything like that. I would say the best way to use this energy is to be open to see whom it is that appears at this time professionally, personally, or otherwise, because chances are some very powerful alliances can be forged in an instant. The other way this energy can work out is that another person facilitates an important, if not a big opportunity in your life, especially if this is a person that you are already partnered with in some way. Again, it could be a business partnership or professional alliance. 
But know that this is just the beginning. You are set to have very big blessings in this part of the sky for a full 12 months from early this month right into the middle of December of 2020. That is thanks to Jupiter. Of course, I'll be here to talk about it every step of the way. And of course, there are Jupiter special horoscopes uh, that are gonna be on my website and you will have that overview that I love to do with previews on YouTube coming very soon in the first days of December. Now, where it comes to matters of love, of course, the solar eclipse is going to speak to matters of love. In fact, I would say if there ever was a time when big developments become possible in love, this is it. This is very all or nothing. Either you're all completely in and things are accelerating fast, or you realize that you are not. You realize that you are meant to go in a different direction. For those of you who are open to meeting someone new, this is one of the strongest symbols that we have seen for you in a while of connecting with someone in a meaningful way. Again, what you don't want to do is go into a space or a place with expectation or heightened expectation. And that's because what ends up happening is you limit the pathways. Love can find you in truly uh, eccentric <laughs> and unusual ways with an eclipse like this. It opens up a portal certainly of eclipse season that we're gonna carry into the new year. And so the ancients believed that this was the time when the veil between the worlds was especially thin. I think that there is very likely going to be some karmic meeting that happens for you this month, but certainly in the days surrounding that very powerful eclipse later in the month. For those of you who are just getting to know somebody, all or nothing, that is the theme. And it is that either you will see something in this person, get to know this person in a way that accelerates your journey forward with them, makes it more real or not, or it goes the other way. So this is kind of like eloping energy that we see here. But remember, we are also going to have this month, I spoke to you last month about Venus moving into your opposite sign in the late days of last month. Well, we're gonna have that energy for the first three weeks of this month. And it is gonna be Venus that will meet Saturn in the sky, that will meet Pluto in the sky. And so all of this tells me that you are already getting these reality checks earlier in the month. You're already getting this sense of conviction as to whether or not this is the person for you. It is going to be the eclipse that solidifies that or can bring someone brand new into your path. And for those of you who are in an established bond, this uh, energy this month, it is all or nothing, even in established bonds. Either you're ready to give all of yourself and all of your energy and all of your attention to your partner and chances are there is gonna be at least one or two key moments where you have to do just that or it is going to feel as if perhaps this particular bond has served its purpose for you. Now, of course, a lot depends on your individual circumstances, but I do think that it is earlier in the month when we have Venus meeting Saturn and then Venus meeting Pluto, all of that, it's like an energy that is building, that you are feeling. It is at the eclipse that it is decision time. Are you all in, are you not? you will know. It's like there's a clarity that happens, whereas with the full moon in the middle of the month, there is confusion. This is where it becomes crystal clear. And if it is that this really is the person that you are all in with, it is going to be at this eclipse that the bond leaps forward, solidifies in meaningful ways. What I love about this month for you, well, look, I love Jupiter moving into your opposite sign. How can you not? That really is a sense of people wanting to align with you, wanting to be with you, and wanting in some way to be part of whatever it is that you are doing, to facilitate blessings in your life, even if it is shared blessings at that. There really is such a remarkable energy playing out now. It does suggest that you are feeling that much more hopeful, that much more expansive, and other people are facilitating this sense of sheer enthusiasm, well-deserved in your life now. 
Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.